Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Infinite Shaft. I am Colby, and today we are going to be building our mob build mob trap. So, I don't have a name for it yet, so that's why I uh, stuttered there a little bit, but we've got the base. Uh, I decided to cut that off a little shorter, that way we can um, utilize our build height. Not the uh, 256, but the 128 original build height. And we're going to go up here. But another reason is this gives us ability to expand if we ever do need to. I can't think of a reason to expand, but it is there if we need it. So another thing, I need to start getting the walls on. Alright, so the basic principle is on Jail's server, they have this massive, uh, it's like twice the size long ways and it's like a hundred something blocks up. It's, it's massive. Anyway, the idea is the mobs will spawn on these pressure plates. The pressure plates will send signal to a redstone wire that's going to feed along right here, go up a block here, and power a piston that is holding that is inverted holding back water. The water is going to push the mob down that long drop. Um, what I'm going to have is a spot where they're going to die. Um, they're going to be killed and then the loot is going to be washed to that center there, those three spots in the center. And um, hmm. I may have goofed. I think I did, yeah. So, the reason I don't want that is because when they fall, they need to land on fence gates, which also doesn't always kill them. So, then as an added assurance, they need to be lava sliced. And I can't do that if they're going to drop these two blocks here, drop straight into the hole. So, I'm going to have to move this whole thing over a couple blocks so that way they can fall, die, hit the lava slice, then get verted over there. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that and I'll be back. Alright, we're back and after about mm, five or six modifications I think we've made some progress. Yeah, uh, let's go take a look. Uh, I'm going to give you a little rundown here of what's going on. Uh, all this redstone is powering all of these sticky pistons. These sticky pistons are holding a half slabs. The idea is that water is going to flow over the half slabs as well as another layer to make sure mobs do not take damage. This is the XP mode um, that I will not implement right away. I have a on off lever somewhere over there. Uh, when this is on, essentially the mobs will flow down. None of these are eight long, so the water will flow onto the next one. And eventually this will be a, um, a wall all the way up. But they're going to flow this way and drop down here. These three stone bricks right here are right above that so that's going to drop them all the way down there now the reason that this will be in XP mode and not just a kill is there are going to be vines right here these three spots what this is going to do is reset the mobs fall damage and then I just drop them 23 blocks to uh, our collection point somewhere down there once I have yet to build and that is for the experience mode that is toggleable via lever. Creates a little bit of lag with all the redstone and pistons. But what we have here is going to be water behind that block right there. So right in line with this and it's going to push them into a lava slice because mobs glitch out sometimes even when falling on fences they don't always take their fall damage if they fall into water 
but for the most part they do. That's just an added assurance for those that glitch. And I've got a little viewing area that I've that I've yet to implement, but it'll be for us to see them falling and make sure this thing is working. I'll go down to our killing area here. So what we have is two centralized pushing or water streams that's going to push all the items to those three blocks there which is just going to drop them down to the collection point anyway. Now if you've seen JL's servitor of his um, mop trap that is ba that is the design I'm using or the concept of the design I'm using his is somewhat different, actually very different and the uh, experience mode thing is 23 blocks up and it pushes them to a different collection spot for them to kill them. I want to centralize everything, make it an all-in-one, and that is a much harder task to accomplish um, because of size constraints. So because of these, this redstone here that's going to power these pistons, and the fact that I made this um, toggleable experience area right above our kill center these signs here have to hold back um, a separate lava so let's go down and take a look at that I have yet to finish this because I'm going to have to kill myself <laughs> or bust through the window but I have a spawn really close and I'll just kill myself it's easier so the lava is being held back by these signs it flows four one two three and this fourth one does not drip over the side because it's being held up by the sign um, if you are unfamiliar with how lava slices work or lava blades um, this right here is because I have to have a lava source right here due to the um, the pistons there. so that's just a little modification I had to make and it was a freaking pain in the ass to come up with not actually come up with but to implement so I will clear my inventory of all but um, just a couple items <laughs> and um, come back here I think we're gonna lose some oh, I guess I could throw my yeah I think I'll set up the water set up all the water and then I'm going to um, come back with lava and set the lava up and drop all our buckets so they flow that center point there and then kill ourselves that way we don't lose our buckets so I'm going to set this up once I set this up I will start working on the uh, spawning cells upstairs now I'll show you this and then we'll end the episode here so the spawning cells how they work is moms are going to spawn on these pressure plates the pressure plates will activate these pistons or deactivate them I should say because it's inverted and once it deactivates the pistons water will fall and flow the mobs to the center here and this is our little demonstration area okay it's gonna push them off and kill them and then the water disappears and more mobs can spawn so it is very brief which allows mobs to spawn quickly there will be lots of cells I'm thinking to start we're gonna do just two layers because I'm starting to run out of stuff like redstone and then once we do that I need to set up a little system to permanently turn them off when I want and to do that I will just um, I don't have a backing on here so it's a little difficult let's go over and look at the ones I already have done I will be placing a block that powers this block which turns off the uh, the redstone here which makes it the all these cells flood so all the cells will be flooded no monsters can spawn and uh, essentially turning off this mob trap just some things I need to do um, I've done the hardest part which is setting up our system right here this literally took these take maybe a minute per cell but this to finish all this redstone wiring and just 
coming up with how I want to do it and how to set it up uh, took forever many many hours um, just because I had to I actually had to raise everything up one just for anything to work and I really should have raised it up two because it would have made my life a little bit easier but I didn't so I only raised it up one and um, then I had to replace all my blocks so that's what took a long time and just getting all the wiring to work with the minimum amount of redstone used these are our um, lengtheners here it goes this way and we use two repeaters so that way it doesn't create an infinite loop and um, it's able to be turned on and off otherwise it just stays on and glitches so yeah there's my uh, there's my system here <laughs> our mob trap I think it's almost done the um, the hardest part of it anyway I'm gonna be setting up some pillars that is that is connect gonna connect eventually and it's all gonna start looking nice here now I can uh, start doing the mundane task well everything was mundane in a sense but it was it was hard I definitely didn't want to include any of it into the video because it was just a lot of me trying things over and over again until I got it right alright um, that's it I'll next, my next episode will be this thing working hopefully so I'll see you then Goodbye, cruel world.